guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode number two of MedSpeak. So for today's episode, actually, um, I just really wanted to tell you guys more about the best pre-med course in the Philippines or the best pre-med major that you should take in college. So to be honest, the question and the answer is really, really simple because there is no best pre-med course in college. The thing is, I just really wanted to share you guys some of my input about the course that I took and some of the courses that my friends took and their experiences on it, what they said was an advantage for them, what was a disadvantage for them, and I basically wanted to share it with you guys. So, for the first one, I'm going to talk to you guys about um, BS Psychology. So that's where I come into the picture. So I took up BS Psychology and it's a four-year course. So when you take up BS Psychology, it can really open you up to a lot of different courses along the way or different career paths along the way. So I know some of my friends who took up BS Psychology as a way for them as a pre-law, as a pre-med, and some of them actually proceeded to be become a psychometrician. Needless to say, I really enjoyed my time in BS Psychology and if you're an outgoing person like me, <laughs> um, BS Psychology is the way for you. But like, I just wanted to say that whatever course you are, pandigan mo, if you shift, and you shift kapag first year ka pa. Because it's hard for you to shift. It's harder for you if you shift during your second year because that would add up another extra year for you and that would entail you to take medical school a year later than your current batch. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my take on BS Psychology and I really enjoyed it. I learned about the human mind and there is actually a subject in medical school that is related to psychology that is behavioral medicine. So, behavioral medicine is related to psychology in a way and if you kind of have a lot of good background from BS Psychology, then behavioral medicine would be easier for you and um, if you read the previous books that you had in psychology, that would be easier for you also because the same authors of the textbooks are also taken up in medicine. So moving on to the next, um, a lot of my friends in the USD are actually graduates of BS Medical Technology and they do have a lot of um, advantage in certain subjects because once you get the second year, you take up microbiology, parasitology, clinical pathology, and even pathology because um, these are subjects, four different subjects that um, students have taken up during their college years. So I just wanted to tell you that that, that would be an advantage for them but e even though I was a graduate of BS Psychology, I actually got high grades also for microbiology and um, parasitology. It doesn't mean if you take up um, a different course that you will like, like ha have a lower grade compared to the graduates of the med techs because you know it's a whole new different ball game once you get to medical school. Okay, so the next is one of my classmates is also um, BS Pharmacy. So, of course, when you get to second year in medical school, you take up one of the hardest subjects in your medical school life, which is pharmacology. So you should have, you should actually watch out for this subject because a lot of the students fail this subject, and uh, most of my friends who graduated from pharmacology actually said that while it was easy for them because uh, they had uh, prior knowledge about the drugs or the medicines that were studied, the mechanism of action, is, it's still hard for them because um, the way that they teach it in college is different from the pacing in medical school. For example, in college, they teach it for a semester. In medical school, they teach it for a week. So that's a difference because even though they had a background about it, the thing is that it, um, the number of lessons that you're actually taking up during the time that you're in medical school is that it increases up in bulk. So the more drugs, the more mechanisms of actions you have to remember, the more side effects you have to remember. Yeah, that's a difference. And that's actually, that's actually an advantage for them because I know a lot of my friends who are actually pharmacy graduates, uh, they had a great time in pharmacology and they didn't really have a hard time that much compared to those who didn't take up BS Pharmacology. But I can tell you that whatever course you take, as long as you study pharmacology and memorize it, memorization is key, it would be easy for you to um, get a high grade in pharmacology. 
I also have friends who are graduates of BS Physical Therapy and in conjunction with this also BS Occupational Therapy. So these are two courses that I know are offered in USD. Uh, once you get into your first year in medical school, uh, anatomy. So the first day, I remember my very first day in anatomy class, I entered the room and we had a quiz and it was the first day and I had a seat right between right in between two cadavers and I remember how I felt like so pale and I felt so cold because it was the first time I saw a cadaver and I was sitting in between two and I was taking my test and yeah that was pretty much my first day in my anatomy class <laughs> in a nutshell but yeah and uh, taking up these subjects can really help in um, anatomy and also once you get to third year you have rehabilitation medicine it can really help help you in both z these subjects and i've actually seen college students who are currently taking up pt nakita ko yung mga workload nila tsaka yung mga notes there are actually a lot of things that are related to med school like the the subject matter that they're taking up are quite similar to ours siguro the difference nga is again the pacing cuz what you take up in a semester in college you will take up in med school for a week so Another course that I would like to talk about is mga yung mga BS Biochemistry. Okay, when you get to first year in medical school, BS Biochemistry is a good choice for you because a lot of people have a hard time in biochemistry in first year. So that is a good choice. So um, they're actually really smart students and they actually memorize easier. Because <laughs> the thing is, once you you learn the basics, yun kasi mga basics yung mga physiology, biochemistry. Once you pass through that, it's easy for you to apply it and actually see it in a bigger picture once you apply it clinically. Ayun, kasi na did na explain me mga pathophysiology and that's easier for you if you have a background in biochemistry. And secret would be easier for them also. If you take up biochemistry then if you um, have that kind of foundation starting out. So so I also guys I wanted to share with you guys about BS biology. So that's the first choice actually that I took up in college. So when I first applied to Ateneo, BS Biology. I mean, whenever you apply in college, that's the first thing. If you want to be a, become a medical student, that's always the first thing that's going to your head, BS Biology. Because it's one of the things that you think that is related to um, medical school. But the thing is, from I mean, from my friends who graduated BS Biology, they said that it's really a different thing. Because when you study BS Biology, it's more like the animals and plants. Whereas when you study medicine, it's more like you're studying the human body. It's an advantage for them because they like have a good background of memorization, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, <laughs> they said that they did enjoy biology. And also, it's a palang course na gusto ko pag-usapan is yung intermed. It's one of the courses that UP offers. So, seven years la ata. That's the time that you take up college and med school all in one. And after seven years, you graduate and become a doctor. And although um, you graduate a year earlier than most of the other medical students, um, ako specifically, I didn't, I don't, I wouldn't recommend it for myself. Because um, I've heard a lot of stories about mga anak ng doctors who took intermed, but then in the end they kind of had like um, a burnout. So they they took a gap year in between, and um, uh, they said that while it was like faster for them to become a doctor, the thing is that um, it was like a harder process for them. So yeah. So secure in that aspect, I wouldn't highly recommend it to you guys. But if you really, um, really want the course, then you know why not take it? You know, it's still up to you if you want to go through medical school faster and as, as um, quick as possible as you want it to be. So wala pa pa pigil sa yung. But yeah, that's for me. That's my opinion on it. I also know that there are other um, graduates of intermed who had a successful career. So. Um, Sigur, it's just my opinion and my own choice because I wouldn't really like to have like a burnout for myself. Pero alam ko marami ding tao kaya yun gawin. And of course, BS nursing. So a lot of my classes in USD are also BS nursing graduates, and um, they have don't really have a hard time with vaccinations and more stuff like that. And they kind of have a good background regarding patient interaction, chaka mga sakit mismo like mga diseases and 
they have a good background on that and they can explain it well and i guess that comes from here as a nurse also and when they had internship maganon and that's a really good course actually i took that in into consideration before bs nursing but i just really moved into bs psychology um all of these different courses also i just want to say are either hard or easy if you want them to be it really still depends on how you study them no matter what people say that bs psychology is an easy course still you mga required mga subjects yung mga biochemistry yung mga stuff like that are still hard subjects so regardless of what course you take since you still take these subjects that are required for medical school they're also hard subjects as itself you know so yeah and that is to end my second video those are the things that i wanted to say i just off the camera for like twice because i ran out of battery but i just really wanted to finish up this video for you guys so I can share it with you because I know a lot of you guys are going to apply for medical school. So that is my input for you guys. And I hope you learned a thing or two if I missed out any other course that you want to be taking or you want to talk about. Just leave it in the comment section down below. And with that, I end this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!